nowadays uh, students make a lot of mistakes in their mcq exams or be it subjective uh, exams what are the mistakes which need to be corrected let's talk about each and every problem one by one first is not reading question paper properly you never read the question paper properly you always are in a hurry what do you do you just write the values wrong from the paper to your answer sheet and obviously if you are going to make this mistake you are not going to get an uh, marks right yes so this is the first mistake which you have to avoid so always cross check what values you are noting let's talk about the other thing which is stucking on one tough question whenever you solve a question paper and there is a there is some question which you feel like that yes it is easy i can solve this question but your answer doesn't come and what you do you just keep trying and trying and trying you're actually wasting your time you know that you have limited time so try not to get stuck on one question if it is not uh, if you're not able to calculate the answer then just leave it and move forward next is not drawing diagrams flow chart where needed whenever you are attempting a subjective exam always and always prefer wherever possible make diagrams make your points clear by showing the flow chart that is the most beautiful way to present your answer and in fact a teacher would definitely appreciate it and you will get extra marks let's talk about the fourth thing which is taking too many breaks you a lot of times take too many breaks and that results in loss of time you're not actually managing your time so try to minimize the breaks and try that uh, uh, make yourself understand that you are solving 10 questions and then you will take a break so try making your breaks smaller next is time management any exam be it your mcq exam be it your subjective exam time management is the most important thing you have to plan that how much time you are going to give to one particular question and if you're not able to solve this question just move forward don't waste your time and always start your exam by with the appropriate time management next is not writing in points many a times when you are actually giving a subjective exam students tend to write in paragraphs and let me tell you that is the biggest mistake you are doing a teacher will always appreciate if you are giving your answers concisely and in points and you'll definitely get extra marks because there would be a very good impression of yours on the teacher if your exam is very crystal clear to him or her so try answering your answers in points last is writing answers without planning always try to write your answers with proper planning that what are you going to tell in the introduction how are you going to explain the reasons and how are you going to conclude only starting the answer without any planning will definitely waste your time so try planning before giving the answer if you will apply all these things definitely you are going to score good so all the very best